Hi, Dostu, once again, welcome back to the channel. This video is for Income Tax Government of India website. Uh, if you forget the password, how to reset it online? It involves uh, four to five steps. We have already pushed videos of income tax filing ITR 1, ITR 4. You can refer it in our channel. And this video is explicitly for resetting the password because we got messages saying that making a video for uh, password forgotten. So let us quickly see how this can be done. You can directly go to incometax.gov.in. This is the latest website two days back launched in 2021 June. Uh, so I will sh uh, share the URL in my video description. Once you have uh, gone to this URL, click on the icon above. You can see here one icon. I have clicked on that. And after that, you got login option here. Directly go to login. Okay. Once you click on login, it will ask for your username usually username from the previous web portal that means uh, the web portal which is discarded uh, already was taking username as span so the same credential is supposed to work here okay previous uh, website web portal pan number and password is supposed to work here if it is not working you can use this method just enter your uh, user id pan number and click on continue it will ask for the password so if you know or if you have the password you can enter the password otherwise click on the forget forgot password option here okay and there is an information button i as you can see here if you click there uh, the information will be given uh, somehow it's not coming here now let us click on the forgot password option and there are five steps as you can see you have to complete five steps uh, to completely reset your password and give a new password remember that okay first you try whether your old password is working otherwise reset it now first you have to enter your user ID which is in my case it's a pan a number I think most of you should have user ID as PAN number only so you can directly enter PAN number after that click on continue button when you click on continue you can see here first option is done okay now you are into second one what is the second option it is to reset password by which method you are supposed to select an option you have three options here what are the options OTP on mobile number registered with Aadhaar or upload a digital signature certificate or using e-filing OTP any of this method you can use but in this video I will show you the first option which is the easiest and quickest option where you can get OTP on Aadhaar based mobile number now click on continue after selecting the first option here once you click on continue you can get a message saying that 1 and 2 is done now you are in the third step here you are going to verify your identity that means whether the correct person is uh, doing this process what you can do you have got two options here click on the generate OTP if you already have an OTP you can select the first option but I think you should not have you may not have so click on the generate OTP and click on continue now as you can see here you are going to verify it's you okay you can click on uh, one time password will be sent to you because it will be sent to the Aadhaar linked mobile okay you can click on the agree here and click on generate OTP remember this OTP comes to your Aadhaar linked mobile okay not linked to the income tax thing so uh, you can wait for the OTP sometimes it takes more time because uh, sometimes the website is a little bit slow so it happens that you have to wait a little bit more time you can see here I got the OTP this is the OTP I received 272110 so whatever OTP you received it's valid only for 10 minutes enter the same OTP what you have received in the SMS and click on the verify button here if you are not receiving OTP after some time you can click on the recent OTP button see I have uh, successfully done three steps now only two steps to go so let us see what is the fourth step fourth step is just to enter the new password okay so before this I will give you some uh, things you have to remember friends it's very important you can't give just like that two passwords remember your last three passwords I believe uh, three passwords you cannot use just this is clearly given here so it, it is possible that people trying to give the last password and it says you it's not taking so please do not uh, repeat or please do not do this mistake I am clearly showing you this again password cannot be the same as last three passwords you cannot use last three passwords after that you can reuse it 
okay so enter a dif different password one more thing you have to remember these four conditions your new password should be minimum eight character or more uppercase and lowercase should be there number should be there and a special character of these four special characters can be used okay example is something like this income at 567 where i is capital letter okay so this meets all the uh, criteria so once you enter the password first you had to enter in the set new password uh, and after that you had to enter in the confirm new password column after that you are going to click on the submit button okay it clearly uh, warns you if you are giving different password in uh, both the columns you can see here all the five steps are completed password is updated successfully okay if you scroll down a little bit you can see the transaction id you will also get an sms because someone else is doing this you will get a message right so this is the uh, security purpose you are getting an sms saying that you have changed it successfully so okay uh, so once you can uh, you get this message you can come back and there is a proceed to login button you can click here and uh, enter your same username of uh, pan uh, number and the new password and log into the portal Thank you so much. If you like the video, kindly give us a like. Also, please share and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you with another informative video.